Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that all of you are doing great. So in this video, I want to share with you guys something that I've been thinking about now for quite some time. And I think it's actually really important for me to make a video on this because a lot of people need to hear this, all right? So just before that we start, as always guys, feel free to drop a like under the video. Make sure you are subscribed as well to the channel. It would uh, really help me grow, uh, you know, this community to even a bigger one and let's just get right into it. So essentially, right, what I want to talk about in today's video is simply the idea that um, the markets are, are a lot more difficult to be trading right now than what they were one or two years ago, right? So just to put you guys a bit in context, right? So in 2020, we had the beginning of the COVID pandemic, we had the big market drop, and around the lows of that, right, uh, we have the Fed, so the Federal Reserve that came in and started to print a crazy amount of money and they reduced rates to zero, right? And so what happened is that the market simply went back into a massive bull market uh, for about one year and a half, two years, right? The markets literally just went straight up. Uh, there have been a lot of people making a lot of money, right? Either in stocks or cryptos and stuff like that, right? And that was just literally, you know, one of the best period for trading and investing, right? And a lot of people who don't know anything about this world actually made a lot of money and they had crazy returns, right? And so when I saw this situation developing over time, right, more and more, I was telling myself that this is not suitable, right? It's not something that will always be there. And it's not always going to be as easy as that because the market is not free money, right? Uh, you know, trading the financial markets, it's a very uh, competitive environment, right? You are trading against, you know, some of the smartest people in the world, right? Big banks and people who have a lot of experience and stuff like that, right? So it's not really easy to just make all of this money, right? Even if you don't know anything. And so when this was happening, I was telling myself, well, something is wrong. Something is broken inside of the system, right? And at some point there will be a bigger pullback to take all of these people out who don't really know anything. And uh, well, here we are today, right? So it's 2022, uh, we've already had four months of the year. And so far the indexes are down, you know, on average, let's say 15 to 20%. So it's a negative year for now. I think it will remain a negative year. I don't think that the markets will break new all-time highs this year. Uh, I am expecting a, uh, you know, this current correction that we have to continue and maybe even get deeper. And as I said, a lot of people will lose money and a lot of people will be taken out of the markets, right? Now, that is really important for you guys to understand that, as I said, not everyone wins, right? For example, if I talk about myself, right? For the moment, 2022 is a good year for me. I am profitable this year, I am making money. It's not the greatest start of the year, right? I'll be honest with you guys, but still, I'm, I'm profitable for the year, right? And I would say that this is already pretty good if we look, as I said, at the uh, average index, right? Which is down over, you know, 15 to 20%. If I'm up on the year, right? I would already consider that to be quite good. Now, of course, we still have about eight months to go in the year. So we will see if it ends up to be a great year or not for me. For now, it's pretty good. So I will just stay focused on that, right? But my point is that if even for someone like me who has a lot of experience and who never had a losing year, right? Even if for me, I can see a decrease in terms of performance because of the high volatility of the market and the high uncertainty that there is as well. Well, you know, think about what that could do to someone who doesn't have any experience and someone who doesn't really uh, have any real knowledge when it comes to trading, right? So this is just to show you guys that essentially, right, the message that I want to bring across in this video is that if you guys really want to get good results, if you want to stay consistent, right, and really make something out of trading, you will need to up your game, right? You cannot just you know, be an average retail trader and think that you will make a lot of money. It's just not going to happen, guys. So you need to wake up to the reality of the situation, right? Wake up to the world that we live in and realize that free money doesn't exist, right? A lot of people have made money in the last two years, as I said, in stocks and mostly in cryptos, right? Like this is probably the most, I would say, retail-based market, right? Where everyone gets in when 
you know, it's going well. And as soon as it starts to drop, everyone wants to be out. Or you also have people who believe that it's always going to go up and that they just keep buying and buying and buying even if it goes down, right? All of these people at some point will be taken out, you know? I'm not against cryptos, but I'm against not knowing what you're doing and just putting money randomly in something that you believe in, right? Because these beliefs don't mean anything. And if you look at history, you will see that a lot of the things that people believed in, they are not here anymore today and they are completely, uh, you know, they disappeared essentially, right? Like if you look at the Nasdaq, for example, in 2000, right, which was the big uh, internet bubble that popped, you will see that the Nasdaq had to actually drop over 80%. And if you look at all of these businesses that were there before, right, in 20 years ago, a lot of these businesses don't even exist today, right? And so think about that, right? Think about how the people 20 years ago when this bubble was happening, right, a bit more than 20 years, right, whatever, um, the, a lot of people at that time believed in some of these businesses that they were going to change the world, that they will always be there and stuff like that. And 20 years later down the line, they don't even exist anymore, right? So this is just an example to show you guys some perspective that it's not just easy like that, you know? Like it's not you just put in money into Bitcoin or whatever, right? And it goes to a million dollar, right? And you become millionaire, right? Like that's just not how it works, guys, you know? Like if it was as easy as this, everyone would do it, right? And as I said, there is no free money. You have to understand this, right? Every single dollar that goes into the market is not money that is being created right the money that is in the market is just being transferred right there is no creation of money right it's just money that goes from one pocket to another pocket right so if you think that you know all the retail traders who don't really know anything about trading will make out of this money you're completely wrong right this money at some point will leave these pockets and they will go into the pockets of the professionals who actually know how to trade and who have been doing this for decades right so my point is for you guys to actually reach a higher level of understanding on the markets right develop your fundamental understanding look at how to actually trade like a fund right get yourself a mentor whatever you have to do right just do something that will actually bring you to closer to a professional level right because as i said if you don't do this right well markets will probably hurt you and you will not achieve the results that you want so it's not even really as if you had an option right it's really that you have to do this right so i would say that if you really want to get good results in trading either do it at 100 percent or just don't do it at all but don't try to go in between because as i said you, you will really have to push your understanding of fundamentals to the next level if you really want to be able to trade the up and downs of the markets that we will have because as I said, I think it's much more likely that we get a lot of ups and downs and that we don't go back into such a big bull market like we had in the last two years. And so of course, it's a lot harder to make money when the markets do up and down, whereas when they just go up, right? And so if you don't uh, you know, if you don't have the skill really to be trading in this kind of environment, well, you will feel a lot of pain, right? And the other thing as well that a lot of people don't really understand is that since 2008, we never had really a long-term beer market on stocks, right? And so a lot of people, right, have only experienced the markets going up consistently, right? And making money consistently. And they think that it's always going to be like that. But the truth is not, right? Corrections sometimes on the stock market can last for multiple months, multiple years, right? Even sometimes, you know, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, right? I'm not necessarily saying that this is what will happen right now. I don't know, I don't predict the future, right? But my point is that, um, you know, you need to understand that the market conditions that we had in the last, you know, 10 plus year, right? Is just crazy, right? And at some point, right, sooner or later, there will be a bigger pullback. There will be something that will take months or years to develop. And you have to understand that it will happen, right? It's not whether it will or whether it will not happen. It's, where, it's when it happens, right? And you have to understand that if it's starting right now, which maybe, maybe not, as I said, I don't really know. Um, well, you will have to be ready for that and you will have to be prepared and you want to be prepared in advance, right? You don't want to just get ready when it's already happening, right? Because otherwise you will not be able to trade it. So I hope that this gives you guys some clarity. I hope that this gives you some perspective as well. My goal with this video was really just to explain you guys 
that um, you know trading is not necessarily as easy as a lot of people want you to believe right and you really just have to push to the next level right so this was kind of a wake up call if you want right I hope that this message uh, gets to you right and I really hope that you remember this video because I think it's really really important so if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like on it you can share it around I think a lot of people need to hear this and so on that take care trade with care manage your money well and I will see you in my next video bye bye